All right, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Faze Rug. Welcome back to another video. I'm here today with... Kaylin. And we're gonna be doing a mukbang video. As you can see, we have so much food in front of us. We didn't just wanna stick to one food for the mukbang, so we got six different fast foods. Not the healthiest, but I'm still excited, you know? Me too. I'm so hungry. So we got Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, Wingstop, In-N-Out, and Raising Cane's. Yum! I'm starting off with the Neapolitan Shake. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, mukbangs are some of my favorite videos to do because we get to just sit here, talk, have a normal conversation to you guys between me and Kaylin. I posted on my Instagram to ask us some juicy questions and we got a ton of responses. You ready? I'm ready. Well, first things first, let's dig in. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Real quick, out of all the food here, what's your favorite? I go through different phases. Me too. It's like a tie between in and out and Cane's. Yes. But I love McDonald's fries. McDonald's fries are top tier. All right, we're going to start off with a question by Brenda. She asks, do you regret putting your relationship on social media? And if so, would you still be dating? I would say yes and no to me regretting putting it on social media because I always kept it real with my fans since day one. And yeah. if I'm dating a girl, I'd love to share her with you guys and Okay, pause. Share her on my YouTube channel for you guys to see. I think in the beginning, everything was good. Everything was going well. The feedback was amazing until more later on where you started being in my videos a lot more and we started seeing more comments and a lot of people speculating things that just weren't true. I feel like it would cause a lot of problems internally between Kaylin and I where we were just like, damn, it was kind of a mistake putting it on social media, but at the same time, I want to keep it real. Yeah, we didn't really get the chance to have like a private relationship people just speculated like little tiny things for example if he was collabing with a girl it's like oh my gosh like this is disrespectful to Kaylin in your guys's eyes I guess sometimes you guys thought, saw it as disrespectful so for us we just kind of thought okay let's take a step back take it offline and see how it worked out that way instead a lot of people might have seen a podcast I did with Roman Atwood and I said that the breakup video was fake the breakup video we made fake it wasn't really fake we did agree on taking a break around that time us taking it offline definitely did bring us closer i'm pretty happy with where we're at right now yeah i agree before we continue with the questions wingstop actually came out with three new flavors the new flavors they got are the meltdown crunch time and pure mayhem <laughs> do you but want one i do but wingstop ranch I don't think there's another place that compares to Wingstop Ranch. We're gonna get that dip right there. I actually used to be a boneless wing kind of guy until I was introduced to this, of course. And I always watch people on TikTok eat wings and they just make it look so much better. Like when you get bone in, I always get flats now. I never get drumsticks. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was messy. I'm gonna give that a Keith Lee rating. That's a 10 out of 10. Everything is a 10 out of 10. Alejandro asked, what's the craziest spot you've done it at? Done what? They're talking about like making YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but if I were to remember, I don't know if you'd agree, it's not even crazy. It's just, it was the backseat of my car. The Rug Rover, the OG days. Everyone knows that red interior. <laughs> Flawless. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember that. I remember that very- that was that, You know what's crazy? That was actually our first time. Yeah. I remember. To this day, I still think that Range Rover is my favorite car that I've ever owned. If you guys have been watching me since 2016, you'd know what I'm talking about. Did you enjoy the back seat? Oh yeah, the like Range the back seat of the Range Rovers, they had like massages, there's a fridge back Very there. spacious. Very spacious, like it was great, it was a great time. A lot of people have been wanting me to be more raw in my videos and I love it. I do a lot of challenge videos, I do a lot of different types of videos now, but I don't see that as a bad thing. I personally enjoy doing videos like that. I feel like my channel has evolved where it's not only like daily vlogging. At the end of the day, I'll never forget my roots, whether it's gaming, vlogging, and I'll always sprinkle that in every now and then. Just like this, like these are some of my favorite types of videos to record. Not only do I get to be more raw and real in front of the camera, but you get to eat food, man. You get to eat food and you get to tell people like your real thoughts, your real answers. Like yeah. you don't get to sit down and be raw as often. Especially with a lot going on now, like this is the perfect time. Exactly. Mm. So. Kaylin, this question's for you. What was Kaylin's first impression when she met Rug? I know your first impression, but I'd love to hear it from you. I've known Brian for such a long time. I don't know if you guys actually know this, but Jessica is my best friend. I've known her my cousin. since the second grade. So that's like over 20 something years, honestly. That's how I met Brian. I'll be honest, I wasn't all that nice to him. This takes it back to like elementary school type of thing. Like you're just mean to the guy you like. That's your way of flirting. That was my way of flirting with him. I would pick on him. Can they hear it from me? No. She doesn't like when I bring this up. 
it really was. I promise you I'm not gonna make it worse. There's a difference between being mean and flirting and just straight up being mean. I wasn't mean. Okay, she wasn't mean like that, but like it was very hard for me to understand that she liked me. Like she would obviously agree to hang out and stuff, which I was like, oh cool, like she wants to hang out with me by myself. Like that must mean she liked me. But then when we were together, I didn't sense that you did like me, but then maybe that was your love language. Maybe your love language was like, I'm gonna be mean. When I was younger, I'll be honest, <laughs> I didn't know how to show my feelings. So that's definitely the way I went about it, which now looking back on it, obviously that was wrong. I didn't mean to put you through those oh, like fun. those hard times. I really did like you from the beginning. And one of the other things, Jessica was my best friend. I was afraid of something ruining our friendship. So if I got with her cousin, how would that affect our friendship? It did affect our friendship at first. Mm -hmm. I kind of took Kaylin away from Jessica, which was my bad. Yeah, but me and Jessica were like this. Like I pretty much lived at her house. I was with her every single day. So it really hurt her when I started hanging out with him over her and not hanging out with her as much. Okay, really off topic though. Like I don't know why I eat my burgers upside down. I guess I'm supposed to eat it this way. That's upside down. Wait. This is the top bun. Yeah. No, I usually eat it like this on camera. Oh, oh. And a lot of people are like, yo, Rug, you eat your burger upside down. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, no matter which way I eat it. It's all going to the same place. It's all going to the same place, and I'm still tasting the same flavors in my mouth. So stop judging how I eat my burgers, guys. Ooh, next question. It's about to get juicy. Charlie asks, what do you think about the FaZe drama? There's a lot going on with FaZe Clan right now. Okay. I haven't really spoke about it. It's pretty sad. FaZe Clan is my life. As you guys can see, I don't know where the camera picks up, but we got like a FaZe logo there. We got we got a phase poster there. We got a phase logo marked on me for life. Long story short, a lot of the OG phase members have been coming out speaking about how they're unhappy with how phase is today, how phase doesn't really feel like a family like it used to be. Everyone was so close at one point. We met each other on Xbox. A lot of them lived in a house together, the New York house, which I actually wasn't a part of the New York house. They didn't get invited to that. A lot of people don't know that. It's kind of crazy. I'm answering another question within this question, but I actually really wanted to move in. They just didn't have room for me. Me. Hey dude, you want to join FaZe? Welcome to the house, come on in. It was a hard decision for me anyways to move across the US, you know, moving all the way to New York. I feel like I personally wouldn't have even lasted that long, you know? So like, I feel like everything happens for a reason. So stayed back in San Diego, made videos with my family. And honestly, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise because even though I didn't live with them, I was still very close, would keep communication every day. We would play video games almost every day still. So I wonder what would have happened if I did move to the New York house. Like, would I still be where I'm at today? But fast forwarding to today, the main thing is getting FaZe to be back to what it used to be. We were once a family and I feel like a lot of the OGs drifted apart, but I feel like we're coming back together. A lot of people think me and Rain don't like each other. I love Rain. We've been talking for the past week and I feel like a lot of people just twist things. I just want people to know like that's not it at all, man. I just want the OG FaZe members to feel appreciated. I want them to feel like they're more involved in FaZe because again, if it wasn't for the OG members, there would be no FaZe clan. We were the ones that started playing Xbox and turned it into something huge. Hopefully at the end, we can all just be happy. Next question we got is from I Love My Cali Girl. What is the best advice someone has given you? I love that. Okay. If someone's given you any life advice out there and it's really changed or impacted your life, please leave it in the comment section down below. Yes. We're all one big family too, so I would love to read those comments from you, but I will start. Go ahead. It's kind of basic, but it really, really puts things into perspective for me. It says don't stress over things that you can't control. Yes, that's something like you that's needed to- huge. Huge, bro because like you're just wasting your time you're wasting your happiness your yes. mental is being affected by something that hasn't even happened or something that you just can't control you can't do anything about it so don't let it suck you up and it is a lot easier said than done but I just think it's something that you guys should practice if that's something that bothers you like just try to tell yourself tell your brain I cannot control this I cannot let it affect my day yes. I cannot let it eat at me all day because it will ruin your day for no reason Kaylin your turn somebody once told me and I don't remember the exact thing but it's something like like not everybody has the same kind of heart as you. So for me, I love very hard. I like, I'll give so much to somebody or people or friends or just in general. Yeah. You could have a pure heart and somebody else can have a horrible heart. You feel like everyone you talk to just cause you're a good person is gonna be a good person back. Mm -hmm. But that's just not true. I've encountered a lot of bad people in my life but I always give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm always yeah. like, no, like they have to be a good person, you know? But guys, don't think just because you're a good person that everyone around you is a good person exactly. too. Just always keep your your guard up. That's and, and the other thing is when someone shows you their true colors, believe them. Otherwise, if you keep putting it in your head like, oh, they're going to be better. They're going to, no, they showed you who they are. Accept it. You have to accept it sometimes. Not everybody is going to be different. You spoke nothing but facts right there. I'm serious. Jose asked, would you let her start an OnlyFans? Who's her? You. 
Oh. I'll start the answer. It's not my choice. Like, if she wants to start an OnlyFans, she could start an OnlyFans. Like, yeah. it's totally up to her. Would you start an OnlyFans? There is nothing wrong with OnlyFans. Get your money. Do what you need to do. It's just not for me. No OnlyFans from Kaylin coming anytime soon ever. That's all I have to say on that. All right, next question. Jackie asks, what is something that gives you the ick about each other? <laughs> <laughs> I know what Ryan's ick is gonna be. I already know it. Something that gives me the ick about Kaylin is she snores a lot and it's loud. No, it's it's loud, bro. Like, not, loud. not in a bad way. Like, I know people who snore, like, can't control it. And don't get me wrong, I've snored too. But I have a really hard time sleeping in general. So if I wake up from it, it's going to be nearly impossible for me to fall back asleep. You want to know what my ick is? That you stress and stress and stress and stress and stress. And you, like, stress over things that don't happen yet. So I can't control. Yeah. Kind of like, like what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, I can't control. But that's what I'm saying. It's not, a, like, really an ick. It's, like, I feel bad that you go through that. You know what I mean? But it's something, like, I wish you could change. But I know you can't. Lately, I have been a lot of more course. stressed than I've been. A lot of overthinking, like the whole phase situation going on. And I've just been working on building my mental to be stronger. So I'm going to start reading. I heard that helps. I've been juicing every day. Carrots, celery, spinach, kale, apples, blueberries, and just trying to drink that every day. Opening up more about my mental health because that is so important. If you bottle it in, it's just going to get way worse. And yes. I was very bad at that at first. I would hate talking to people about my problems because I feel like I'm such a burden you know it's like people probably see it as like you have all this what are you complaining about but at the end of the day like there's a lot that still happens in people's lives that have a lot of things yeah I don't know I just feel like if I bring it up to people they're gonna be like oh my god like he's complaining I always tell him like I'd rather you tell me so you can get it out and like you might feel a little better just talking about it just yeah. saying how you're feeling but that's why I was saying mine isn't an ick it's something that I wish he could change because I don't like to see you stressed out I don't like I'm to trying. see you down on yourself if you guys have any tips on any of that stuff Again, I will be reading a lot of these comments. Damien asked, are you ever gonna box anyone? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Like, listen, me and Aiden Ross were supposed to box at the end of 2021. I'm gonna be real with everybody right now. Like, this is the best time to be real. Of course. We both kind of said that we just weren't gonna box anymore. But to be completely honest, I'm the one that told Aiden I don't want to get in the ring anymore because I realized how much commitment it was. In order for me to start training and get in shape, I would have to probably take a break off of YouTube. And I just wasn't ready for that type of commitment yet. It's not because I was scared or any of that. I'm consistently making YouTube videos and that's just what makes me happy. So love you, Aiden. I did suggest that we should do a basketball event, kind of like that Ace Family basketball oh, yeah. event. But if it was hosted by me and Aiden and it leads up to a 1v1 at the end, I just think that would go crazy. So let's do a huge basketball event at Crypto Arena. I don't like saying crypto. I say Staples Center. Should I box someone? Who would you box? Molly? No. Uh, the fans would love to see that though. On the topic of boxing, Ryan Garcia or Tank, aka Gervonta Davis. I'm gonna let you answer first. First of all, I don't know anything about boxing. I only know Ryan Garcia because of you. So I'm going to go Ryan Garcia. After watching the press conference, the face-to-face -face with Gervonta and Ryan, I think Ryan looks so good. I think his mentality's there. It's going to be a good fight. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's been anticipated for years. Mm -hmm. I've taken a punch from Ryan and that was him going like 50% and I almost died. I like bruised my ribs. I actually called my doctor after the body shot challenge. He said my ribs are bruised. So, I mean, man, that guy's got a crazy left hook and if it connects you never know what could happen so i got my boy ryan for sure are you gonna be attending the fight absolutely are we gonna eat ryan i'm really so full okay, okay. that like i'll just take some home i'll take some of this to my parents house okay yeah. jamie asks when do you plan on having kids ah. i don't know i'm 26 right now i don't know why it just hasn't crossed my mind i'm personally not ready i know i hear a lot from parents that have kids sometimes unexpectedly yeah say that you'll never be ready for kids until you have one. Mm -hmm. I'll always have that in the back of my mind, but as of right now, I just feel like I got a lot going on. I want to slow down on YouTube before I even think about having kids because having a kid is a huge responsibility and it's life-changing yeah. and I don't think I'm ready right now. Yeah, I don't know when I'm having kids, but I'm 28 now. I think like usually when you get in your mid 30s is probably when you don't have kids anymore. So like I still got a chunk of time, right? But also I have a baby. I have one. She's actually outside playing right oh, now. Okay. Her name is Lola. 
up. There could be a little rug running around. My goal with that would be having my kid grow up and take over the Phase Rug YouTube channel. Phase Rug Junior. Imagine. That would be just like the craziest thing and it would be all documented. Even when I'm like 50 years old, I can see when I was a kid on YouTube yeah. versus me having a kid and then also fast forwarding to my kid growing up and taking over the Phase Rug legacy. I just think that would be really cool. That would be a goal of mine. Yeah, no Phase Rug babies coming anytime soon no. or baby. All right, guys, I am extremely full. I know it doesn't look like we ate a lot, but we did. I'm gonna go give some of this to my parents. I'll take this to some of my family. We don't wanna let it go to waste, but we thank you guys for watching this mukbang. I feel good about this. I feel good about just having a nice raw conversation and hopefully giving some people tips, advice. Hopefully you guys giving me tips and advice in the comment section. And I would love to just do more stuff like this anyways, more just like raw videos. So yes. if you guys wanna see that, please show some love on this video so I know that's what you wanna see. Be sure to leave some nice comments down below. We love the kind, nice, no negativity, no Spread movie. that love. And other than that, it's been <laughs> Caleb and Faze Rug. And we're out. Peace. Peace.